Hello and welcome back to the Medique Trust plugin. Um, today we're going to take a look at hip roofs and see what we can do with hip roofs within the uh, plugin itself. Uh, this is a fairly new feature, so um, it's still under development and is still missing a number of advanced options, but I think uh, we have enough uh, and got a good enough running start here that we can actually uh, do some fairly substantial work with it. So. First off, I'm just going to show you kind of what we uh, some basic configurations that are possible. Then I'll I'll go ahead and actually use it to recreate these. But um, this here is a pyramid hip roof, so basically both sides are 22 feet in length, and you can see that uh, it meets right at the point. And this uh, type of you know roof is is typical, but uh, not the most typical type of hip roof. Uh, to our left here we've got another hip roof and this roof is a slightly lower pitch. I think this one here is a 12-12 pitch and this is a 10-12 pitch. But uh, you can see this one here has a ridge board and this uh, ridge board is a uh, 2x12 member and then these rafters, the common rafters, and actually all the rafters including the ridge rafters are uh, 2x8 members. So, <clears throat> so there's two basic hip roofs that can be easily created with the plug-in. And then over here, uh, I'm going to show you how we can start generating complex roofs with the plugin. And you can see it, I haven't finished trimming out completely you know, all the members that need to be trimmed, but uh, I've kind of made a start here just to kind of show you the general uh, shape of the roof and kind of the overall layout of it. And, and that's kind of the thing I think you can do right now with the plugin with complex roof is you can get the basic planes of the roof and you can generate the shapes and then you know it takes a little time of course to trim all these members back and, and move a few valley um, <coughs> rafters into place but uh, it's usually not too bad and typically with valley rafters I'm going to show you this real quick here before I move on um, so what I like to do actually is I'll say okay I've got this, this <coughs> and I don't know if this is exactly correct or not from a framing standpoint but uh, what I like to do is grab this hip rafter here and then just uh, use the copy button and come down here and just pick any point, it doesn't matter where. And uh, actually, let me try that one more time. I've got to hit the control key first to actually like, copy it, not just. And then I just move it over four feet. And there you go. There's our valley. <coughs> Our valley rafter and then we can trim these back to meet that valley rafter in the valley there so anyways but let's uh let's go back now to the uh back to this guy right here so uh, i think we're gonna go with a lower pitch so we're just going to delete that roof entirely and we'll go up here to the fourth icon which is draw roof rafters we'll select the hip roof and then it's just a matter of picking three points. And then it doesn't matter which three. And just pick the bottom corner here. And by the way, it doesn't have to be that back corner. It can be anywhere along that edge, and it'll do the same thing. So let's take a look at our options. Uh, we've got the roof pitch, of course, and that will be the same pitch on both all faces. Uh, so let's go, well, perhaps a lower pitch. We'll just try that just to look. And then uh, <clears throat> overhang's fine. You can see you can set the overhang, and that will be the overhang all the way around. And the rafter depth, same thing again. All the rafters will be that same depth. Let's use a 2 by 8 member, of course, and the rafter width. And the ridge board depth. So a lot of, a lot of options here you can play with, but uh, I'm going to just leave it the same. Um, the ceiling joist option is kind of an advanced option, and we are s I'm still working on that one. So right now, if you select that, it won't actually do anything. But uh, here, probably in the next few weeks, I'll have the ceiling joist option available to use. And that also goes for the uh, advanced roof options. Right now, the, it won't draw the fascia board all the way around and, and, or the sheeting on top but <clears throat> that will be the next step. So as you can see you can always adjust um, the building length 
and uh, you, know, you can always it's, it's taking the, the points that you are selected but you can always after the fact adjust that if, if you need to and then the rafter spacing is 24 inches on center again you can you can change that and play with that as much as you like so we just get OK and there you go and there's your rafter roof <coughs> pyramid actually uh, pyramid hip roof sorry <coughs> and now let's take a look at the components that it creates so it's one big group of course and then if you click in you can see that we have and let's bring in the uh, entity info you can see that we have eight of these uh, jack rafter components here in the assembly so if you actually click into this you will see that they are duplicated and mirrored so there's actually eight of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're all the same. Now, if you need to trim one back and leave the other same, of course, it's simple enough just to make make one of those unique. And then, of course, same goes here for the uh, hip rafters. There's four. There's only one definition, but there's four of these components. Okay, and so that's kind of how we're organizing the layout of the hip hip roof. <coughs> Okay, and then same thing here. So let's go ahead. Let's just delete this guy and start over. Simple enough to do. And we go ahead to the hip roof. Select our corners. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to select the edge on the back. And uh, let's go with uh, 12, 12 pitch. And let's go with uh, uh, Two by ten, maybe, and then let's go with a two by twelve on the ridge. <coughs> and of course, the bird the bird's mouth cut you can adjust as well. Let's do just a three and a half, just to show you the difference. And hit OK. Of course, we're not going to mess with that. Actually, let's go with a sixteen inch on center and see how that looks. Okay, so that's sixteen inches on center. That's a three and a half inch bird's mouth cut with a two by ten rafter and a two by twelve ridge board. And that's uh, that's a hip roof. <laughs> and the interesting to note is <clears throat> interesting thing here is these roof planes are you know I I spent a lot of time to make sure that we're getting these things exact so. If you actually spend some time and compare these roof lines, like this this line here and this line here, if you were you know to draw the, the roof plane in, you would find that this line and this line are perfectly on that plane, and the same goes for this line and this line and this line, and and then they all meet at a point right there, you know above. Uh, well, I can't zoom in on that very well, but anyways, you, they all meet, you know they meet there at the apex there, right above. Them. In the center of that uh, of that point right there, yeah, about right there. So, anyways, uh, just kind of just a good understanding of what's happening with these hip roofs. So now we get to complex hip roofs. So <clears throat> at this point, you know, I don't really have an automated way of handling it, other than I can you know create the rectangular primitives I call it. And so that's generally what I'm doing here, and I'm going to show you how to how I do that really quickly here. So what I typically do is I just start, uh, and I'm just going to go with the defaults so I can go quick. So basically I'll start with the biggest rectangle that I find in the roof, and I'll just stretch out across here, and I'll stretch out across there, and let's just go with a 412, that's good enough. Um, yeah, I'll just leave all the options for now. Okay, so there's that piece. Now we need to create a piece that comes across here, and so you just you know you just start filling in the rectangles essentially. And you know you can pull it back as far as you want or or not. And the same goes for here. I need a quick way of you know, firing off this plugin, but. Now this will work. I'm going to do one last. 
mouse on them right there. So here we go. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you click the wide side first and then the short leg of the roof because the plugin is smart enough to determine uh, you know, which side is longer and then it will draw accordingly. Okay, so there you go. Now this is a much lower pitch roof than the other one, but essentially it's the same roof. Um, I've done exactly the same thing over here, except this side, I've, or this one over here, I've trimmed out some of the uh, extraneous members. And that's what needs to happen here, obviously. But if you sit down and actually examine these roof lines and these planes, they are perfectly lined up in exactly the right spot. I mean, you can see right there that member's coming straight down across that other ridge and everything just lines up nicely so I mean even if we can't do complex roofs yet um, we can at least get the uh, overall shape of the roof and all the roof planes figured out with this plugin but uh, I think what's going to have to happen is I'll have to uh, you know design some logic that will allow us to automatically you know, trim back the, the hip roofs to match to the other segments that are already created or, or something to that effect. I've got I've to work through that. But um, yeah, in a nutshell, I think that's a pretty good uh, basic uh, introduction to hip roofs with the plugin. And you can see you can do pyramid roofs, standard hip roofs, rectangular, and then you can start you know, digging into complex hip roofs. <clears throat> so, and like I said, right here, I, I moved that that valley or that hip rafter over into the valley, and uh, that's just an easy way of doing that. So, so, again, I would do that here. So, I would just take this one here, copy it, and move it into that spot. Same thing right there. I take that one there and uh, move that into that spot, and that fits perfectly. And then you just start trimming things back. So, well, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and once again, um, I hope you uh, enjoy the presentation, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, ask me either by email or, or I'm willing to take uh, phone calls at any time as well. So, thank you.